Hi, I'm Dr. Judy Morgan, and today I have a question for you. Should Dr. Google and Facebook friends replace your relationship with your regular veterinarian? My answer is an emphatic no. I answer questions for people every single day on my Facebook page. I take phone calls from people all the time asking questions about animals that I've never seen. While I'm happy to give advice, I haven't seen your pet and I don't know your pet. And while Google is very happy to give advice, it's not always correct. It's not always correct information that you get from your Facebook friends either because their pet is not the same as your pet. And so the answer is you absolutely need to have a good working relationship with a veterinarian who knows your pet, who has seen your pet, and can give you advice on your pet. If you're not happy with the veterinarian that you're, common, that you're currently using, then find someone that you can work with, someone who will listen to your problems and needs and concerns. Here's a good example of why just buying things off the internet and not consulting with someone who knows your pet can lead to problems. I have a dog who leaks urine. I have a client with a dog who leaks urine. One of my dogs that leaks responds really well to an herbal product called Swaquan Wan. I tried this on my friend's pet. It didn't work. Her symptoms fit the description of the herb, but it wasn't the correct one for her. So then we went to Wubishan Yasan. And we used this on my friend's pet. And again, it did not work for her pet. Her pet was still leaking urine. She brought the powder back to me, and I started using it on one of my dogs that did not respond to the Swakwan Wan. And lo and behold, my dog responded to the Wubishan. So it is not a one size fits all problem. You sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error, but if you're going to believe websites that say this product will cure all dogs who leak urine or this product will cure all dogs and cats with renal failure, you're not going to get good results. Sometimes it might help, but a lot of times it may not help and it could possibly do some harm. A lot of the supplements that are on the internet are not regulated, are not tested, and can even be toxic. A client asked this morning, what can I use as a natural toothpaste for my pet? And I thought, well, you know what? Let me go do Dr. Google. Let me see what's out there. And 99% of the homemade toothpaste recipes that I found use baking soda as the toothpaste ingredient. Baking soda can actually be toxic to dogs. And unless you can teach your dog to rinse and spit after brushing his teeth, not a good idea. If he swallows enough baking soda, it causes gas to be released in the stomach when it hits the heat and moisture in that area. The problem with that is you can have electrolyte imbalances. You can have low calcium. You can have high sodium. That can cause muscle tremors. It can lead to congestive heart failure. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. Make sure that you have a veterinarian that you can work with, that you like, and who understands your pet, your concerns, and your issues. Establish a good working relationship, be kind to your veterinarian, and they will be kind to you and your pet. So feel free to ask questions. I'll be happy to answer whatever I can, but please make sure that you have a good working relationship with your veterinarian. Find someone you like and take good care of your pets. See you later.